Hi everyone, I am Geeta, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, SNS College of Engineering. In this session, we are going to discuss about Lagrange's linear partial differential equations and their theoretical foundations, practical applications and visualization methods. Lagrange's linear equation. The linear partial differential equation of first order is called Lagrange's linear equation. Linear first order PDE, Lagrange's standard form is capital P small p plus capital Q small q which is equal to R. Where P, Q and R being the functions of x, y, z. Also P is nothing but dou z by dou x and Q value is dou z by dou y. Working rule for solving Lagrange's uh, method. First of all, we put the given linear PDE of first order in the standard form PPQQ which is equal to R. So, next uh, step to write down the uh, Lagrange's auxiliary equation is dx by P which is equal to dy by Q which is equal to dz by R. Step 3. Solving equation 2 by using well-known methods. Let x, u of x, y, z equal to c1 and v of x, y, z equal to c2. Be two independent solution of 2. The general solution of equation 1 is then written in the following form. Phi of u, v equal to 0. Consider the following problem. Here we are going to solve y square z by x plus p x plus x z into q which is equal to y square. This is of the form capital P P Q Q which is equal to r. Here capital P is nothing but y square z by x and capital Q is nothing but x z and r is nothing but y square. So, so like around this uh, auxiliary equations are dx by p which is equal to dy by q which is equal to d z by r. <coughs> which implies dx by y square z by x which is equal to dy by x z which is equal to dz by y square. Taking first two fractions we get dx by y square z by x equal to dy by x is x z which implies x into dx by y square z equal to dy by x z. By simplification we get uh, sep separating x and y we get uh, x square into dx equal to y square into dy. After that integration we get x cube by 3 which is equal to y cube by 3 plus c1 by 3. Then we get x cube equal to y cube plus c1. From this we get c1 value equal to x cube minus y cube. Next taking first and last fraction we get dx by y square z by x equal to dz by y square which implies x dx divided by y square z equal to dz by y square. By simplification we get <coughs> x dx equal to z into dz. On integration we get x square by 2 is equal to z square, square by 2 plus c2 by 2 which implies x square equal to z square plus c2 which implies c2 value is equal to x square minus z square. Finally, the general solution is phi of c1 minus c1 comma c2 equal to 0. That means phi of x cube minus y cube comma x square minus z square is equal to 0. Applications of Lagrange's linear P PDE. In fluid dynamics, Lagrange's linear PDE are used to model fluid flow including velocity, pressure and density. In heat transfer, these equations can describe the flow of heat in materials predicting temperature distribution and heat flux. In wave propagation, Lagrange's linear PDEs are crucial for modeling the propagation of wave including sound, light and electromagnetic waves. Coming to the conclusion, Lagrange's method, a powerful technique for solving linear PDEs, offering a systematic approach to finding solution. Applications 
Lagrange's linear PDS have broad application in various scientific and engineering field. Modeling diverse phenomena. Visualization. Visualizing solution of linear PDE is crucial for understanding their behavior and interpreting results. Thank you.